Hey, welcome back guys. So last time we were able to retrieve these contacts from our API and we are able to show them in list like this. So in this one, I want us to go ahead and first log, log out a user just so we can get done with all those authentication stuff. So currently on our backend, we don't have an endpoint to actually log out a user. But what you're going to do is you're going to clear that token from the from the local storage on this device so that the user has to get a new token for them to access this one again and so let's just go ahead and do that so we are going to need to have an action that does that then we have a type that dispatches to the reducer and then that reducer can clear out our local state for example these contacts here so to start if we go to our header in in components then header we have a link for logout, so which is here. So what we're gonna do is add an on click. So you can have on click, and it's gonna be a function. So it's gonna call let's say something like handle user logout. Okay, so let's create this function. So here we can come and create it handle user logout. So it's gonna be simple function here. It's going to need to dispatch an action. So for us to do that, I'm going to first create an action. So if you go to contacts, then actions, then auth, we have login and register. So I'm going to create a new file called logout.js. Okay, so here what we have is basically a simple function. So we can have export default function. So it's going to log out a user basically. Since we are not since we are not submitting to an API, we don't want to show the loading the loading stuff, so we want to be dispatching logout loading. So here we can remove the token from local storage. So we can do local storage, remove item, so we remove token. So then the next thing you're going to need to do is dispatch a type to the reducers. So we can dispatch and, of, and we're gonna bring we are going to bring in dispatch again. So you can dispatch type. So the type is going to be, I'm going to call it logout user. So I'm going to need to create this type. So if you go to our constants, action types, we can also have this one. So export const logout user. It's going to be a string logout user. So here we can import it. Okay. So let's now have a, a dispatch. So here in the header, we are going to need to call that function. So it's going to be logout. Uh, logout. So to pass a dispatch, we can pass it here. So we can do dispatch. But for us to get this dispatch, we need to get it from our context. So if you go to our containers register, this is how we select from context. So here we can have that. So we need to get use context from React because we want to use the context. Then we need to import our global state where we are going to be selecting from. So when we say use context, it's going to give us all the, the values that are defined, defined here. So what we want is this dispatch that gets returned when we create a contact, that, that, that gets returned with the context reducer. And the reason why we are not using this auth reduce auth dispatch is because we are going to need to affect the contact state. We are going to need the dispatch that talks to the contact state. So here, this is the one we are selecting. And with the structure, you can actually rename this to dispatch. Here in the logout, we need to accept it. So we can accept dispatch. So this dispatch here, we are going to use it to dispatch this type. Okay, so once we do that, actually, we need to log out. So we can't do the logout in the reducer because the reducer function is just meant to update state. But we can do it in the action. So here we can we can redirect the user to the login because we have already removed the token. But for us to do that, we are going to need access to the history. So the history will allow us to have a, a good, tra a smooth transition between this page and the logout, and we won't have that window reload. So we need to pass it so that we can access it here because here we can't directly have the, the history. So in the header, we can create the history by const history will be use 
history from reactor.com. So then that gives us the history. So we can pass the history as a parameter here. So meaning that in the logout, we can pick it from here. And here we can use it to log out. So we can do history dot push. So we'll be going to auth slash login. Okay. So once we have this, now we can go and handle what happens when we dispatch logout user. So if we go to our context reducers and contacts, we want to be able to remove the existing contacts here so that when a user logs in, they don't see them and we refetch them. Or if another user uses the device login, we refetch, we don't show what is already here. So right here, we can have another case. We can do case logout user. So let's import logout user in a minute. Okay, so here we need to return the contacts, but we don't want to return, we want to reset the contacts. So we can actually do return. So we return the existing state, state, and then when it comes to the contact, we are going to set the contact to the initial state. So how do we get the initial state? So you see here we have initial states, we have contact initial state. So we are going to set everything to this. Okay, so for us to do that, you're going to get the existing state and then we are going to merge it with everything in the initial context. So do that by doing initial, so contacts head. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and reset everything in this state to the initial state. So that will be this, okay. And the reason why it's only able to this, and the reason why it's only able to reset the contact state and not the auth state is because we are using the dispatch from the context. Is because we are using the dispatch. Uh, is because we are using this dispatch from the contacts, so it will not be affecting this. So that's why, right here, we reset our current contact state to the initial state. Okay, so I hope that was clear. So now if you go back to the application and reload, it's going to reload and everything fine. In that we still have the token in local storage. We have the contacts here. So when I go to logout and I click logout, you notice that we are logged out here. So if I come back here and reload it, you see it, it still boots me to the logout. So if I go to the to the so if I go to the application, then here and I add a token key. Of course, the user will most likely not be doing this, and then come to the home route. You notice that we try to to load for the user, and then whenever we find an error, we take them away. So let me let me redo that, and we actually clear out that fake token that they put in the local storage. So meaning that now our simple auth is complete, but if you had an endpoint to log out a user, of course you will call it in the action and that will do just awesome. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.